fellow crafters. So today I want to make a, a sign for the kitchen for a coffee bar sign. And I found these really cool stencils. They were like 10 for $10 on Amazon. I'll try to remember to link it in the description box. Um, so my husband cut these two pieces of wood for me. And here's the stencil. It says fresh and hot coffee here. And then, so I want to make it look like it came from a coffee bean bag. So I'm going to take my handy dandy burlap that I bought like ages and ages ago. This stuff never runs out, it seems. <laughs> and I'm going to cut a piece to cover up these two pieces. This, this wood was an old piece of fence post. It was scrap wood. And my husband cut it down to size for me. So... You can go to Home Depot, you can cut it there, you know, find a fence post and cut it down. I'm, I'm sorry, a fence slat, not a fence post. And the, you can cut it right there to size. So they'll even help you if you don't have a saw at home. But anyway, I'm just gonna cut a piece of burlap that'll cover these up and we'll take it from there. Okay, so we have our burlap piece cut. We're gonna have it overlap a little bit cause we're gonna staple it to the back. But before we do that, just to give it a little bit of extra umph, hold together, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna take some of these uh, craft sticks and we're just going to hot glue them to the back. And that should give it a little bit more hold. So we're just gonna take them and run a line of glue and just fix them to the back. And I think this should give it plenty of, whoa, sorry about that. My glue gun is wrapped around the leg. Let's try to get it up, there we go. out the side a little bit so I'm just going to scrape it off and put it on the back of this one let that sit harden up and then we're gonna put the burlap on there so our wood is held together our fence slat is held together by these four craft sticks and hot glue and it's pretty sturdy it's not going anywhere. So here's our piece of burlap. We're gonna lay the front side down on the burlap and we're going to take the side and we're gonna pull it tight. We wanna pull it pretty tight. So then we're gonna take our staple gun and we're just gonna, I'm gonna turn it this way so I can pull it tighter. We're gonna staple it down. You could also use hot glue for this. I've used the hot glue method before and it works just as well. I think this is just uh, quicker. So I'm out in the garage and I'm gonna use this method this time. So we have our stencil. It's I'm just going to hold it down. That's why I have the glove on. And this is hammered rustoleum. I'm not sure what color. Just hammered. So we're going to take it. I'm just going to hold. Ooh, it's moving. Don't want it to move on me. And we're going to take it off and there you go so it kind of looks like a uh, 
a bag that you would get the coffee in that would come off like from Columbia or something. And I think it looks pretty good. So there you have it. So here is our finished product. The only thing I have to do now is just put a little hanger on the back. And I don't want it to go over. I want it to be, be able to be flat on the wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of this twine and just put it down, cut it. glue. I might get another uh, craft stick and just put it over top so it holds it. But there you go. I think it looks like a, something that would have come off like a cargo ship from Columbia for coffee. I think it looks pretty cool. I am going to try a second one with a different idea I had. I had both of these ideas, so I'm gonna try a second one and see how it comes out. So let's just go right on to the second one. So I have two more piece, pieces of fence slat, and I'm gonna take some of our antique wax, shake it up real good, shake it up, and I'm just gonna take a wet brush and some of the antique wax and just put it on here. I don't know, it's not really changing the color too much. Might have to do two coats. You're gonna just put it on. Take some water, whoops. My nice new piece of board, I just got stain all over it. Good thing they're only like uh, two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Just gonna rub it down in there. Rub it down in the wood. Just gonna take some, put it on, get some water and thin it out. And I'm splattering it everywhere. Then take a paper towel and just rub it into the wood. I want the wood to come through, but I want it a little darker than this fence slat post we had. Fence slat, sorry. Not post, it's a fence slat. So I bought these three brass plated cup hooks at the Home Depot and they were like $1.74. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them out of here first of all. And I'm just going to take some paint. Let's try this again. I put them in this, my husband gave me a box so I could put them in the box and I wouldn't have to lay them down. So I'm just going to... Paint them up with black and just let them dry. Hey, I didn't even realize at the time, but the box he gave me held coffee. Okay, so I I just taped this down. It's not really taped down. I just didn't want overspray on this one like the other one. Uh, the other one was kind of like coming off a ship. So they wouldn't take the time to... I think that got it. Let's lift it up and see. Oh yeah. There you go. That looks nice. Okay, so we have our sign. It's spray painted. And now we have these two hinges. What we're going to do is just separate this a little bit. We're going to put our hinges down. 
I want them close to the edge. So we're going to make a little hinge sign. Flip this over and put the, <clears throat> let's get some of our wired, our wired twine. And I only need a small piece because I don't want it, again, I don't want it to go above the sign. I want it to be below the sign. So let's just cut a nice little piece off. I can probably make it shorter. So we'll cut some more off. I don't think I can cut both of them at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, that, that heat comes right through that craft stick, let me tell you. So we're going to do this the right way. We're going to come in and we're going to do it one inch on this side. And then one inch on this side, which would be seven and a half. And then the difference between that would be... So I marked the places where I want to start screwing these in and this wood is hard and I forgot to mention when I was putting the hinges on my husband pre piloted those holes for me so we're gonna just try and screw these in and see how it goes it's starting I might have to do a little touch-up on them but they're going in Okay. Yeah, I would definitely suggest that you take the hooks and spray paint them or find black hooks, one or the other. I'm going to touch up the hooks and then we'll finish this up. Okay, well, here's our coffee signs around our curing and our coffee area. Um, I hope you like them. Let me know which ones you guys like the best. And if you could, please give it a thumbs up, a like, a share. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. See you next time.